fire, cease fire. When that active killer is in that classroom, that teacher can either have a pencil or they can have a gun. Okay, guys, I'll get stand up. No. I think I did okay. It's my first like live shooter simulation, you know? So um, hopefully next time it'll be better. Those teachers that want that protection to use a firearm in a school, we provide the training and certification for them to do that. One of the most visceral reactions to the recent shooting in Parkland, Florida was to give teachers guns. And it's an idea that has divided the United States. So I've come to Arlington, Texas, to follow a group of teachers getting trained to carry a gun in their classrooms. And really, the question I have is a visceral one as well. Guns, teachers, can they really go together? The three questions of when you have to decide, according to state law, to shoot, what are they? Do I have to do it? Do I have to do it now? Is there anything else I can do or I will die or be seriously injured, right? This is Brian Proctor. He was a police officer for 20 years. Now retired, he's one of the only people in the country qualified to train teachers to defend their schools with guns. There are killers in our environment. They will find the weakest people to be able to kill, the ones that are the most defenseless, and they will go after them. Um, if you call 911, the killing's already started. You've got to have someone there when it starts to be able to mitigate that damage. And these are the volunteers for the job. Among Brian's students, there's Norman Rangel, he's a principal, Jermaine Chambers, football coach, and J.C. Daly is a librarian at a high school. Now, each of them is already licensed to carry a gun, but to carry at school, they need to pass this training and get permission from their school board. First, I meet J.C. Daly. Well, I believe in the Second Amendment, I believe we have a right to defend ourselves. Um, I believe that if somebody is attacking us, you know, we don't just sit and huddle. I mean, we actually have skills and are empowered in this country to, um, to defend ourselves. It was JC's idea to take this course. She volunteered. And part of her motivation, she tells me, is that she has two kids of her own. You know, as a parent, I, I would be, you know, I would at least want to know that my kid's teacher was carrying a gun. Questions? No. All right. Now, the teaching here is done through pretend scenarios with a killer trying to enter the classroom. Cease fire, cease fire. So this is what they're shooting, they're training rounds. They're about 10 times as powerful as paintball rounds, but they actually do shoot, they hurt. That's why people are wearing these. Uh, these. Now it's JC's turn. Questions? Um, no. Go, go, go! No. How's your heart rate? Oh, it's it's really high. My hands are shaking, my heart's pounding. I can my voice is shaking. I can feel it. After seeing how shaken JC is, I wonder how realistic it is to ask teachers to go after shooters in schools. But Brian says that's not what he's trying to do. The goal is not to find and go after the shooter. The goal is to protect the kids in their care in that classroom that they have control over. Um, they are not, not trained to go after the killer. Go, go, go! I'll get you! Let's see how other teachers do. Here's Jermaine's scenario. What's going on? I coach football. Those are my sons. Those are my boys out there. I treat them like my kids. So if something comes in, I feel that it's my job to protect them all. Cease fire! Cease fire! How was that? Oh, he yeah. Might be up here, but he saw the big gun come in and you just, hey, protect them. Shoot. Hey, aim for the best. <laughs> You can have that, or you can have a pencil. Oh, um, pencil, what a pencil going to do? I, I mean, that's what Parkland found out, too. All right. What occurs to me 
And as incredible as it sounds, the goal of the training is for the teachers to control the adrenaline rush, the fear to be cool under pressure. The next part of getting teachers ready happens here. They each have to show that they can shoot accurately. But can you ever be ready to face a gunman? Do you think your, your students or these teachers are ready? If, if something happens, if someone comes into their school with, a, with an AR-15? I think nobody's ready for that. I don't think anybody's ready for that. I've, I've been in combat situations, I'm telling you, I'm never ready for that. But you have to realize that there's no great solution. There's just a better response. So what's the plan here? So basically what we're gonna do is, the plan is we're gonna set up these targets. We're gonna shoot about 200 rounds. And out of these 200 rounds, I wanna see a good percentage of them in the bad guy, not missed off the target, and not in our good kid. Or they fail. Or they fail. If you cannot get a good shot, don't pull it off. I don't care if you're left with ammo in the gun. I don't. What I care about is if you start missing your main target. JC tells me she understands full well that taking her gun into her school is controversial. A school, it's, it's traditionally a safe place. I mean, it's, it's where innocence is, you know, it's our children. And so I think you have a great polarity there between a gun, which is such a visual image of violence and killing and hatred, and then innocent children. To me, I, I feel like it's my job to protect that innocence, you know, to, to protect those kids that are in my care. Line is ready. Make your gun safe. Okay, so here's how this runs out. Everybody here pass the proficiency. According to the Department of Public Safety, you pass the proficiency. So how do y'all feel? I need more not satisfied. If you're not satisfied with it, I'm a happy person. Because what would I be satisfied with if I was the one shooting this? 100%. 100%. That's what I would be satisfied for. What do you, um... wow. <laughs> what do you think? Well, it's not very good. When I first came up and looked at it, of course I looked at my misses, but not knowing what those meant. And then I looked at that precious little baby with all of the holes in his head. I mean, I obviously did some damage to the bad guy too, but I need, I need some practice. That's what I think. Does it make it real? Does it make it more real looking at that? Like seeing our kid and the holes? Well, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I have seven year old boys, so they're about that size. <laughs> For sure. It just made it real. It's a big responsibility. It's a big responsibility. Nick mentioned how this issue has divided the country. A survey by the Pew Research Center found 45% of American adults support arming teachers in schools, the other 55% against that.